<clears throat> hey everyone, this is J Dog, and we're here with another video. So, three suspects have been identified, only one of them has been arrested, and we're talking about the death of Joshua Brown, the witness who testified against Amber Geiger in the court case that ended up her getting convicted by only 10 years in prison and up for parole after five. <clears throat> and then a couple days later, Joshua Brown was killed in a shooting uh, and the individuals fled the scene and people were wondering who actually did it. Uh, only three suspects have been identified only one of them has been arrested now these two people have been identified as Thaddeus Charles Green and Michael Diaz Mitchell however these ain't the arrest individuals that got arrested the person who got arrested is Jack Curious Mitchell forgive me if I pronounce this wrong age 20 and I don't see his picture up here. But they are saying that these guys were involved in the murder of Joshua Brown. And then they're even saying that it was due to a drug deal that went bad. It's police say. Police. Isn't it interesting that after Joshua Brown testified against the Dallas police, when Joshua Brown gets killed, the police are saying that it was a drug deal gone by bad and that these were the suspects. Now, if these happened to be the suspects who were caused in the shooting and they were confirmed to be the actual uh, criminals involved in the death of Joshua Brown, Yes, they need to be put in jail. But really, are we really going to say it was because of just a drug deal gone bad? I'm starting to smell some holes. You're talking about a gated community. I don't think you get a lot of drug deals being able to slip through. Unless, of course, they're perfectly slipped through by security. In a gated area. Yeah, the hood you, well, that's non gated, yeah, you any kind of drug deal can easily happen. Especially if not heavily patrolled by police. And if the police are not trying to control the contain the situation. However, I still find once again a lot of holes. While the sun they're bring up the fact that Joshua has had issues with drugs. Because when they were talking about this Joshua Brown, I never saw this brought up. I mean, because usually when when a black person like Botham John gets killed, and if there happen to be any witnesses, they will always expose what the black persons did. Why are they waiting until after Amber Geiger is being thrown into jail? Oh, that's right, because they're trying to, uh, I just found out that Amber Geiger is also going for an appeal. And that Joshua Brown and others could stop her appeal from going through. And that they're trying to get her out, desperately trying to get her out immediately. That means, just like the mafia, get rid of any witnesses and then try to cover it up. I smell a cover up. Dallas police has already been considered to be one of the most corrupt police forces on this, in this country. You saw that 25 police officers are now currently under investigation for racist threats. You saw that the police helped in the retaliation that led to 
another witness by the name of Bunny losing her job. And then no, the fact that no one knows where she is right now. She wasn't even in the, at the trial. And she was the one that recorded it. Yet they did not use that information, that footage. And she did not get be part of the uh, court proceedings. I'm also starting to notice that. That she wasn't there during the actual trial. And now your number one key witness that helped put Geiger in jail or behind bars is now dead all of a sudden. And then they're trying to all of a sudden find any kind of way to dirty him up. Now, if he was involved with dr dealing drugs, I'm not condone, um, con um, praising him. I'm not condoling. If he is involved with drugs, yeah, it was a problem that he should have not be involved with drugs, or he and he the he should not been involved with these individuals if they turned out that they're involved with drugs, and if these guys happen to be part of the murder of Joshua Brown, yes, he needs to be. They need to be held accountable. They killed someone unlawfully. But I'm also starting to think the police are trying to hide something. They are so desperate. This is retaliation for what happened to Abra Geiger. They're trying to help her go through with her appeal to get her out. And they're trying to dirty up anyone that is against Abra Geiger to make it even more easier to get Abra Geiger out of prison. And they're trying to make once again, innocent black man look bad. Or just black people in general look bad. Why? Because they're racist and they want revenge. I also want y'all to notice something. Alright. This might take some time. Sorry if you're looking at other stuff. But right here. Listen, after the witness asked to be excused, she said, of course. I'm surprised he came. They killed that young man after testifying. This indicates that the judge kind of knew that he was put in danger of being killed in a possible retaliation or some kind of tragic incident. And that he should... And I'll get to more on the judge in a separate video. But, see, I, I, Tammy the Mammy should not even be on the bench. If she knew something was wrong and that this guy may have needed maybe some protection, then that means she's just as guilty as the killers of Joshua Brown. If you knew that Joshua Brown was in danger, then why didn't you order a protection, witness protection or anything? And don't trust the Dallas police to give it to him because remember, he put one of them in jail while well, he helped with his testimony. So it needs to be someone on the outside who can be trusted. But, now these individuals, these two are still on the run. If they are involved with Joshua Brown's murder, they need to be caught immediately and be held accountable. But like I said, there is something fishy about all of a sudden, um, they're finding, all of a sudden they managed to find, see this is how the police work, this is, 
They are trying to dirty up. They're trying to find. I knew this was going to happen. I bet you these are informants for the police department. Remember the guy who killed Nipsey Hussle? He was an informant for the law. Uh, Takashi69 snitched on a bunch of black people after uh, he was an informant. And that was after the fact that he got caught messing with a, 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 a child or some young teen. Because, yes, the police are known to use informants that are criminals. They look up any kind of crime they can set them up with, or they look at their criminal backgrounds, their backgrounds in general, and say, we can use this against you, unless, of course, you're willing to help us out. That's what happened. And then you, within seconds, you turn that individual into an informant. And sometimes the informant has to do more than just talk about what the police want them to talk about. There has been history of stories of informants doing things, even illegal things, on the behalf of the cops. Or any other law enforcement, etc. And that could and might be the case in this story but like I said if these guys are involved then they need to be held accountable and dealt with the punishment and now like I said before this Jaquar um Jaquarison Mitchell he is the only one of the three suspects that's been caught and these two are still on the run I mean, by the time this video is uploaded or being watched, they might have been caught, they might have not. I'll probably keep you updated in the future. Uh, once again, my condolences goes to the family of Joshua Brown, and I hope still, regardless of what Josh Brown has done or not done, he still deserves justice. And his only true courageous act was that he was willing to testify against a racist cop who killed an innocent man by the name of Botham John. He did the right thing at that courtroom. He knew something was that Amber Geiger did wrong. Jock Bach and John pay, uh, life was lost. At that point, Joshua Brown did the right thing, regardless of what he ha may have done in his entire life. That day, he did the right thing, and he got killed for it. But I want to know what y'all think in the comment section. Is there more to this story other than this arrest? And the identification of the suspect are these guys maybe be informants by the law to get rid of any witnesses because we've seen heard about stuff like this before. I'll keep you maybe updated in future videos. But that's all I gotta say for now. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you I'll leave a link to I may have not read this article. I just only need it for the show some Im this imagery. But I will still leave the link in the comment section in the description box. Uh, make sure you like and share the video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and hit that notification bell. We'll also leave links to different accounts that y'all can follow me on. The, when I do new videos, posts, etc. But that's all I got to say for now. Thank you for watching. And I hope to catch y'all in another video. Peace everyone.